it's Chantal from Clay Play and today I'm going to show you how to make a cute little under the sea Nemo paperweight. So we're first going to start off by taking out our clay packs. In your clay pack you'll get your wooden work board, big piece of clay, your stick, your extra stick, two googly eyes. And remember always to have a bit of water on hand for cracks or if your clay needs to be smoothened out. Okay, so let's get started. So I already divided my clay into three pieces. You're going to start off with one big bowl, bowl of clay, and you're going to have a big piece, a middle piece, and a smaller piece. You're going to use three pieces of clay for this cute little Nemo. Okay, so we're going to first start off by putting our two smaller pieces to the side. I would recommend that if you have already rolled it out, maybe just take a bit of plastic, wrap it in plastic, or keep it in your bag so it keeps nice and moist, so it doesn't dry out. Okay, I'm going to put mine to the side. So your bigger piece of clay is going to be your rock. Now, there's no right and wrong for making this. This, this project is quite creative. You can do a lot of different variations and add your own details. So the main part is just to remember that the bottom of your rock must be flat so it can stand. So what I'm doing is I first roll the ball and I'm going to just like throw my clay down a bit to create a nice big area that's flat. Now I'm just going to start pressing my clay into a shape of a rock. You can have indents. Try and not Try to not have too many loose pieces. Um, try and keep your base one piece. You can just use your fingers to press into the clay, creating your rock. Okay, I'm going to turn mine around so you can see. Like I said, there's no right or wrong. You can have a smooth rock. You can have a rock with lots of indents like mine. It's up to you. But now you need to decide which part you want in the front and the back. You're going to take your smaller piece, your, your, the whole the smallest piece of clay that you have, that is going to be the clay we're going to use for decorations. So remember the main thing about adding clay to each other. If I make something and I'm just going to press it like that, with time it's going to break off. Your big rule is scratch and attach. So say I want to make some seaweed. I'm going to take pieces of clay and I'm just going to ro roll some coils. Yeah, you can really go creative and do whatever sea creatures or decorations that you want, sea plants, sea life that you want to add in. Just going to add a few pieces of this. Okay, and I'm going to just flatten some of the areas that I'm going to attach to my rock. Okay, so say I think I'm going to put mine here over here. I'm going to make scratchy marks. And on the back of my seaweed, I'm also going to make scratchy marks. I'm just going to attach it like that. I'm just going to pick it up a bit and just work in the bottom area. Just try and at least get one area where you can work your two pieces of clay into each other. So I'm just like working it in nicely like that. Pressing it down a bit, bending it a little bit. You can decide how you want to do it. Okay, so there's a bit of seaweed. I'm going to show you how to do some of these coral. So I'm just taking small pieces of clay and rolling a ball, round little balls, like that. And I'm gonna oh, maybe add some here. So I'm gonna scratchy marks, scratchy marks, and I'm just gonna stick them on. And again, if you make a mistake, you can always take it off, start again. Oh, let's add one here at the top. There we go. Okay. I'm just going to 
press it down a bit. Get rid of the scratching marks and I'm just going to take my stick and just make little holes. Okay, there's a bit of decorations. Now you can decide maybe you want some these types of coral. Again, rolling small pieces of clay. I think I'm gonna maybe do it over here on the side. Just gonna hmm, let's put it here. Scratch again, always scratch and attach. These ones, when you have your own round pool, you're just gonna take your pinky finger and just slightly press the one side down. Not bad. Again, scratchy marks. Now we're just stacking them on top of each other. Like that. Again, rubbing some of it in to my rock. There we go. Okay, let's attempt a starfish. Like I said, you can decide what you want to add or not add start with a round ball press it down a bit to create just put that there a flat like that and I'm just gonna lightly draw my shape of my starfish it's very rough but it's fine I'm gonna cut it out I'm just gonna use my stick to cut out the edges Before I left it all, I'm just going to pinch it in a bit just to make sure all my little sea star legs are secure. I'm just going to lift it with my stick. So it's very rough, but you can now take it and just create a nice sea star shape or any other shell that you want to add. Maybe a little crab, maybe. A shower of a pearl, you can decide. There we go. Again, scratch and attach. I'm gonna add my sea star on this side here. Look at the back of my sea star scratching marks. And let's put in there. There we go. Pressing them in and down into my rock. I hope everyone is having lots of fun making all these projects. There we go. Please remember to go and like our Facebook page, um, Clay Play, and our Instagram, Clay Play SA. You can pop us some pictures with the email. We always love to see everyone's creations. There we go. Okay. All my extra clay I'm gonna take away. You can add some stuff if you want to, or you can decide that I'm happy with this. So I think I'm happy with my rock. Okay, now comes the Nemo pot. So now you're gonna take your other piece of clay. I'm gonna put my rock with this side here. Okay, this one is a bit big, so I'm just gonna take a bit of clay off. You'll, you'll see if you look at your the size of your rock, you can always just see how big you want your fish. If your fish is too big, it's not going to fit in. So always try and measure with your eye how big you want your fish to be. Okay, so we're going to start again with a round ball. Okay, now I'm just going to start softly squeeze it a bit into an oval shape 
for sure. A fish is not round, it's more oval shaped. Almost like that. There we go. It's almost like an egg. Now I'm going to start with pinching out my tail. Like that. So you take your two fingers and the end of your, the back of your fish, and softly just pinching. Don't go too thin. Pinching it out like that. You can see the two finger indents there. It's not going to look perfect at this stage but it's fine we're gonna get it there now I'm just taking my fingers in a C shape from the top and just softly squeezing it down and out again just to create that little tail coming out there we go okay I'm happy with that now the top fin again the same way you're gonna take your two fingers and you're just gonna Softly pinch upwards. You don't have to do a Nemo, you can decide to do another type of fish. I decided on a clown fish, but you can do any type of fish that you want. You can go look on the internet or um, maybe in a book for some pictures of how the different types of fish look, and you can try and mold it accordingly. Okay, so now you can see I've got a top fin and Back fin. Now my Nemo also have two side fins, so I'm going to take my fingers now, I'm going to work from the front so you can see. Just taking my fingers again and now I'm just like pressing, first I'm just like smoothening from the sides of the face. A piece of clay, I'm going to show you from the top so you can see. Just softly smooth, now you can take your thumb and just like softly start pressing a fin. Pinching my finger inside to create that nice rounded edge. And again, if you make a mistake, you can always just stop, squish it up and start again. Okay. Okay, that's a quite a nice shape. I'm happy with it. I'm just going to work on my face a bit just to get it nice and smooth and round. Remember, you can use a bit of water if you want to smoothen it out a bit, not too much. And I'm just working all my edges in, just getting my shape. I feel like this part is too big, so now I'm just going to work it back a bit. So you can chop and change it as you wish. It's your creation. You can decide how you want it to look. You just want plain fish, that's also fine. Okay, there we go. So there is the shape of my Nemo. I'm quite happy with that. You can later on smoothen it out even more if it's a little bit more dry, but I think I'm quite happy now with this. Okay, so now comes the fun part. Your extra stick that you got, you're gonna push that into the Nemo. Be very careful not to come out straight through so very softly wiggle 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 not too much so it's like a lollipop like that now I'm gonna decide where I want to add it I think I'm gonna add my Nemo here so at the top of your rock bottom of your stick you're gonna press in again be careful not to press it through at the bottom so you're only gonna wiggle it a little bit doesn't have to be too deep Obviously not too shallow, so it's going to fall off, but almost like halfway through. And now very important, you're just going to take your fingers and just like softly squeeze the clay into your stick. Otherwise, you can see my one is a bit loose, you can move around. You don't want that, you want it to be nice like that. There we go. Okay, so what are we still missing? Some eyes. Just gonna turn it around so then you can decide just to press in your eyes you can add eyelids if you want to I'm not going to do it for this one Oopsie. Um, there we go. just see perfect okay quite like that and I'm gonna make a little mouth with my stick I'm gonna show you now
This is now going to dry and all the magic is going to happen once you paint it. Here we go. You can add a mouth, you can add more detail. I added now some lines you can add if you want to or you can paint the lines. You can do scribbles on the rock. You can decide how you want it. Now remember, this needs to dry a bit, so you're going to keep it in the windowsill or in a safe space for three to four days, depending on the weather, till it's nice and hard, and then we're going to start painting. Keep an eye out for the tutorial for painting and mixing paint. I hope you enjoyed it.